Have you ever wished you could communicate with someone without having to say a single word? Telepathy, the ability to communicate through thought, has long been a topic of fascination for many. While it is often portrayed in science fiction, there are those who believe that telepathy is a very real phenomenon that can be developed and practiced. In this video, we will explore the concept of thought transmission or telepathy and discuss techniques that may help you send a telepathic message to someone. We will also explore the idea of receiving telepathic messages and techniques that may help you become more receptive to them. Understanding Telepathy Before we dive into the techniques, it's important to understand what telepathy is and how it works. Telepathy is defined as the transmission of thoughts, feelings, or mental images between two or more individuals without using the usual methods of communication, such as speech or writing. There are different types of telepathy, including telepathy between humans, between animals, and even between humans and animals. In humans, telepathy can occur between individuals who are emotionally close or have a strong connection. It can also occur between individuals who are not physically close but share a strong mental connection. While the scientific community is still divided on whether telepathy is a real phenomenon or not, there have been many reported cases of telepathic communication. For example, twins or close family members have reported experiencing telepathic communication with each other. There are also many reports of animals, such as dogs or cats, communicating telepathically with their owners. Preparing to send a telepathic message Before attempting to send a telepathic message, it's important to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally. Here are some steps that you can take to help you prepare. Step 1. Clear your mind before attempting to send a telepathic message, it's important to clear your mind of any distracting thoughts or emotions. You can do this through meditation or deep breathing exercises. Step 2. Set your intention. Set a clear intention for the message you want to send. It's important to be specific about what you want to communicate and whom you want to communicate with. Visualize the message as clearly as possible in your mind. Step 3. Establish a connection. Establish a strong emotional connection with the person you want to send the message to. This can be done by thinking about the person, feeling their presence, and imagining that they are right beside you. Sending the telepathic message Now that you are mentally and emotionally prepared, it's time to send the telepathic message. Here are some visualization techniques that you can use to help you send the message. Visualization Technique 1. The Mental Picture Visualize a mental picture of the message you want to send. Make the picture as clear and vivid as possible. For example, if you want to send a message of love, visualize a heart glowing with love. Visualization Technique 2. The Mental Voice Visualize yourself speaking the message in your mind. Imagine that you are speaking directly to the person you want to communicate with. Say the message in a clear and concise manner. Visualization Technique 3. The Mental Touch Visualize yourself touching the person you want to communicate with. Imagine that you are sending them a physical sensation, such as a warm hug or a gentle touch. Visualization Technique 4. The Mental Symbol Visualize a symbol that represents the message you want to send. For example, if you want to send a message of peace, visualize a dove or a peace sign. Receiving telepathic messages Just as you can send telepathic messages, you can also receive them. Here are some techniques that may help you become more receptive to telepathic messages. Technique 1. Quiet your mind Quieting your mind through meditation or deep breathing exercises can help you become more receptive to telepathic messages. By reducing mental noise, you create a clearer channel for receiving messages. Technique 2. Be open-minded be open to the possibility of receiving telepathic messages. Avoid dismissing any unusual thoughts or feelings that come to you, as they may be a message from someone else. Technique 3. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, as they can be a source of telepathic communication. Keep a dream journal to help you remember your dreams and any messages you may receive. Technique 4. Use symbols. Use symbols to help you receive telepathic messages. For example, you can ask the person you want to communicate with to send you a specific symbol, such as a heart if they want to communicate their love to you. Overcoming challenges. Sending and receiving telepathic messages can be challenging, especially if you are just starting out. Here are some common challenges that you may encounter and some tips on how to overcome them. Challenge 1. Doubt and Skepticism Doubt and skepticism can make it difficult to send or receive telepathic messages. To overcome this, it's important to have an open mind and trust in the process. Challenge 2. Distractions Distractions, such as noise or visual stimuli, can disrupt telepathic communication. To overcome this, find a quiet and calm environment where you can focus your mind. Challenge 3. Emotional blocks Emotional blocks, such as fear or anger, can prevent telepathic communication. To overcome this, work on releasing any negative emotions and creating a positive emotional state. 
Challenge 4. Lack of Practice Like any skill, telepathic communication requires practice. To overcome this challenge, set aside time each day to practice sending and receiving telepathic messages. In conclusion, telepathy or thought transmission is a fascinating phenomenon that has captured the imaginations of many people. While the scientific community is still divided on whether it is a real phenomenon or not, there are many reported cases of telepathic communication. In this video, we have discussed techniques that may help you send a telepathic message to someone and become more receptive to telepathic messages. It's important to remember that telepathic communication requires practice and patience, and it's okay to encounter challenges along the way. So, why not give it a try? Set aside some time each day to practice sending and receiving telepathic messages with someone you trust. Who knows, you may just discover a whole new level of communication and connection with those around you.